All right, so let's talk a little bit about Felix Mendelssohn. You heard on the video that he was a very hard worker. You can look at his dates here and see that he really didn't live very long. If you do a quick little math problem, this one's a little trickier than Chopin's math problem. But yes, he lived 38 years. So um, that is attributed not because, you know, like Chopin was sick most of his life. Uh, Mendelssohn was not sick most of his like, life like Chopin, but he was extremely, extremely hard worker. And a lot of people say he, he overworked himself. So he um, basically worked so hard that his life ended sooner than it should have. Um, and especially when his sister died, that made him so sad. So between him being overworked and his sadness, that's what they say um, took Mendelssohn's life. Now let's talk about his names for a minute. So we have Jacob Ludwig Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi. His um, given names, Felix Mendelssohn, if you listened, you heard that the Mendelssohn family is Jewish and um, Felix, Felix's dad was trying to distance them from the Jewish religion because the Jewish people were not being treated very fairly um, and it, they were just treated unkind. So he was trying to distance the family from that Jewish religion. So they would say instead of they were the Mendelssohns, they would say they're the Bartholdi's. It sounded more German. Um, when Felix grew up, though, he, as a performer, a, a professional musician, used his given name, Felix Mendelssohn. Um, out of honor for his father, he did sign legal documents with the Bartholdi name, um, but he did use his his given name, Felix Mendelssohn, as a performer. So I think that's kind of neat that he still stood by his heritage, even though sometimes he would not be treated fairly or even unkindly because of that Jewish heritage. So he was a romantic composer like Chopin, who we just finished studying. Remember, Baroque was fancy music. Classical is music that is structured and romantic music, not love songs. But you can use three words, passion, emotion, and drama. Romantic music had a lot of passion. It had a lot of emotion and it was very dramatic. So um, he was of the romantic time period. Now, he was born in Hamburg, Germany. And Hamburg, um, Germany, remember, is where Bach was born. And he was um, recognized, Mendelssohn was recognized for bringing back the music of Bach. He loved the music of Bach. In fact, in his first concert at age nine, he played the music of Bach. And um, Mendelssohn was known to because since Bach had died a little bit less than 100 years earlier, Bach's music had not really been played a lot. So um, Mendelssohn just loved the music of Bach, and he's the one that kind of brought back to um, society's mind's eye and their ear the music of Bach. He also played the organ, by the way. Piano was his main instrument, but he also played the organ. Now, his first public published work was at the age of 13. Remember, he was a very hard worker, so 13 is really young to publish, and then his first symphony at the age of 15. Here he is sitting at the piano, and then basically all these older people, he's the one that's showing them what to do. And um, so Mendelssohn, as the hard worker that he was, wrote that symphony at the age of 15. In fact, those two published those two main works of his, he finished by the time he was 16. So he was already a very hard worker. Um, a symphony to a musician is like a novel for an author. So think of the big accomplishment that it takes for a person to write a novel, an author to write a novel. That's what a symphony is for a musician. So it is a big accomplishment. Now, this spring song that we're going to listen to is, well, here's its full title down here at the bottom. Opus 62, number six, Allegretta Graziato in A Major, Fugenslieg, Songs Without Works for Piano, book five. Well, Wilson wrote it for the piano only, um, but I have a, a really vintage cartoon that I'm going to show you that uses the spring song, and the little character plays it on violin. It's very old, and it's kind of crackly, so I wanted you to hear what it really sounds like performed on the violin. So I'm going to have you listen to this, and then I'll put a link on there for that vintage cartoon that also uses the spring song. Okay? <laughs> 